everyone, Brandon and Kyle back at the Strength Studio today. We're going to be talking about repatterning your breathing. We recently posted an infographic on anterior pelvic tilt, the muscles associated with that, common causes, and how to fix it. But there were still some people that had some confusion on how breathing actually influences that. So we are going to show you very practically how you can string together three unique breathing drills to not only repattern your breathing, but also to allow you to take more oxygen in, uh, expand some of those tight rib cage muscles muscles and get your diaphragm actually moving. So the first drill that we're going to show you is a very common drill. It's one of our first go-to drills and that is crocodile breathing or prone breathing. This is a really important drill to allow the lower back to expand. A lot of people will do breathing drills in the 90-90 position like a dead bug, but we really like this position because it really gives the individual a bit of a stimulus to press out through the lower back. First thing we're going to do is make sure Kyle's comfortable here, and I'm going to give him a little bit of pressure on his lower back. He's going to breathe into my hand, and I'm going to temper how much I'm, how much pressure I'm giving him based on how much air he's taking in. A little bit more this time, and I'm going to increase the pressure just a little bit every time, and he should take very long, drawn-out inhales and very slow, controlled exhales. As he gets more oxygen taken in, I can physically feel his lumbar musculature start to spasm a little bit and work, and it's, it really is just trying to, to work at that point. If you don't have a partner, very simple. Stay there, Kyle. If you don't have a partner, just use a plate. Plate, boomstick, kettlebell, fat bell, anything with a little bit of weight, we want to put it right on the lower back. 25 pounds is about right for this drill, but this drill is probably going to do 90% of what you need from a breathing repatterning sequence. The next drill that we're going to do is a forced exhale. Now, you can, you got your straw, Kyle? You can do this drill with balloons, you can do it with a straw, or you can just hold your lips tightly together. Go and give me your legs here, Kyle. We like to support the legs of the individual so that we don't have any issues at the lumbar spine. Relax your legs. Anytime someone gets into this position and they have a pelvic tilt, it's very likely that they are going to stay in that pelvic tilt and stay in an arched position if they were holding their weight of their own legs. So we'll support them either with a partner or if you're doing it by yourself, again, just put them on a bench. From here, Kyle's going to uh, have a straw, balloon, or just purse lips, and we use that to restrict airflow. He is now going to be pressing all of his air out as hard as possible until he has zero capacity left in his lungs and in his trunk of air. Press out here, hard here, Kyle. What you're going to notice from his ribcage positioning is that it actually descends a bit or gets away from this flared position. So I'm going to give Kyle's legs to himself here. Anytime we see a pelvic tilt, it's always associated, well, 99% of the time is associated with this flared ribcage position. To get out of this position, we need to get those ribs, the, the musculature of the ribs, to actually contract and expand just like it would under normal breathing. If this is a problem for you, a very simple assessment is to take your own thumb, put them in your ribs, or have a partner put their thumb into your ribs and press. This shouldn't hurt, but if you have breathing patterns, this is going to hurt kind of like a, uh, a knife, but it's really just a thumb. What we're doing there is pressing on the connective tissue between the ribs. And just like tight quads or hamstrings, you are going to feel a very sore sensation if that connective tissue is tight. So you've got to sort that out. And you can do it either by manual treatment from a practitioner, or you can roll it yourself with uh, almost any kind of roller. I prefer a, a, a rumble roller or the notched uh, foam rollers. The final one we're going to show you is a resisted breathing drill. And this is a little bit different than the last one. We're not going to be pressing air out, but now we're going to be focusing on taking air back in, but within greater resistance. We filmed this one a while ago, so if you want to see this drill in a bit more detail, you can find that video on our page. But we're going to put a band right around Kyle's lower back, and we need a pretty heavy band here. He's going to get into this kind of sphinx-type yoga pose. He's going to have a very neutral spine, and he's going to breathe into this band. As he breathes into the band, we want to see this entire structure expand like a barrel. So you are focusing on the lower back, but we need to see all of this expanding without rounding. So one of the cues we'll use here is to pull your head back here, Kyle, a little bit and be a little bit taller for me. Good. There. Perfect. Very, very good. 
Now, the beauty of this drill, if you have a pelvic tilt, is it's going to try and accentuate that pelvic tilt because the band uh, resistance is pulling you into that faulty position. Your job is to resist that faulty position, and we find that this is a very effective drill to get out of a pelvic tilt uh, via breathing. I'm going to relax now. Now, there's a lot of ways that we could potentially get out of a pelvic tilt. Uh, almost always though, we have to start with breathing or at least have breathing be a primary component to the strategy of getting out of it. Anything you like to add there, Coach Kyle? You'll notice we talk breathing and bracing a lot. It's one of our specialties. And you'll usually see how easily we break things down into different segments. Breathing is not bracing, bracing is not breathing. So remember that. And even though it's something simple, right, I'm taking in oxygen as I'm talking here. I obviously wouldn't be alive if I couldn't breathe. That doesn't mean you do it well. So break things down into very easy chunks and make sure you do them slow with a bunch of intent. Brandon Kyle out.